Hello and welcome to this um, PHP tutorial. In this one we're going to be talking about static um, variables with inside functions. Um, third tutorial out of this um, set of tutorials we talked about global variables, before that we talked about optional uh, arguments and before that we just talked about functions in general. If you come into this lesson now without watching the first three and you don't know anything about functions I suggest you go back and watch um, the other tutorials. Okay so let's move over to um, the HTML that I've got. Okay, we've got a nice little page here saying functions and static variables. Please give me a global variable number to use. What is the global number to use? In here, basically, um, we're just going to go over global variables quickly one more time. So let's come back over to our functions.php page and num here is equal to the post num that we're going to be basically getting. If you've watched the three tutorials before that, you'll know what this means. Okay, so I've just made a function here, function stat var, with no arguments with inside of it, and uh, we're going to grab this, um, going to grab this this variable, this global variable of num, and we're going to use use it, and we're going to echo out num, just to be nice and easy, and then we're going to say stat var, and we're going to call it, um, and we're going to come to Firefox. And basically we're on function.html, let's bang in 12 here, submit form, look at that, it submits 12. So this information here was a global variable and it's echoed that out. That's enough of global variables for now, I think. So let's um, scrap this information. Now let's talk about static um, variables, is what this whole tutorial is, is about. Right. What is a static variable? Well, functions don't have any memory. Okay, When you call this function, it does exactly what it says in the tin, as in it reads all the lines, does all the code, works it out, sends it out to um, a variable or echoes information out, does whatever you want to it. Okay, And once it's done, it forgets everything is just done. Okay, And when you call it again, it then, rem it then starts over and over again. Well, by a static um, variable, it's basically giving the function a memory. Okay, and how do we call, uh, how do we give uh, a variable, basically how do we make a static variable? Well, just the same as making a global variable. So we say static, and what we're going to say basically is stats none. So we're going to use a number basically, and we're going to have a static number for counting things and so on. So we've got stat num. Well, let's give um, stat num now a value. We can do this all in the same line, so stat num is equal to zero. Now, you can only do this with static variables. With public, um, or global, sorry, um, variables, you basically can't, you can only uh, say, right, it's this. You can't do anything else with it. You're just going to give it, say, right, this variable is global. And then if you want to change it, it has to be on a new line or after the semicolon as such. So now we need to give um, stat num, the variable, a value of zero. Now, with inside of our function, we're going to basically say st echo stat num and we're just going to put a break tag after it for later on okay so we're saying okay static variable is stat num is equal to zero echo stat num so let's control us to save come to functions here or functions.html and yep and then we're just basically going to submit the form come here and it echoes out zero. We'll just forget about this part for now because it's now not important. Okay, and it echoes out zero. Now, I said that um, a static um, variable has a memory. So what we could do is actually we could give it a memory. So we could maybe increment it every time it gets called. So let's now say static or static num, stat num, um, is going to be incremented by one. Now at the moment within my PHP tutorials I haven't talked about the incrementing a value by one. All we simply do is put a plus plus after um, the variable and this increments it simply by one. So be it this be five then stat num would now be six and if this was ten stat num would now be um, eleven. Basically it always increments just by um, one. Okay that's basically it. So now um, this function of stat var has a memory so if we was to call um, it again so now we come down to here and we call the, the function twice 
it has a memory so let's control this to save let's come back to um, function.html press the submit form and as you see it echoes out 11 and 12 that's because I gave it 11 up here so let's give it 0 I think you got the idea anyway oh dear there we go that's better this is me testing out a new um, screen recorder so if it's a bit slow I'm sorry um, okay so now 0 and then uh, 1 so that's that's basically it um, and we can call this as many times as we want so let's just push out as many as we want down here and it will remember this information so let's refresh it come back to here and as you can see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 so it, it has a memory but what you've got to remember the second that we leave um, this page this function now has no memory okay once we come to this page and you call this function that's when it has a memory again okay so you can't um, use a function continuously um, on other pages it needs to it can only have a memory on one page if you understand what I mean okay test it that's all I can say test it and you'll find out how it has a memory but I've just showed you roughly how you can do it um, okay well that's pretty much it for the tutorial done um, for static and global variables and optional arguments and functions and so on I've now given you the building blocks to be able to do this job very very well with functions so um, put it all together put everything you've learned so far and test it okay for the this is I believe the seventh tutorial I don't know um, Anyway, put everything together and test everything. And don't move on from here until you've tested it and you know how to do everything. Come to my website, www.thornwebdesign.de. Subscribe to me, just in this box here, okay, on my website. Give me your email and your name. Press this subscribe now button and it will send you an email. With inside this email, it will give you a password and it will give you a link to come back to this website. It, this website will then automatically ask for your password you've been given this email give me a, a new password and confirm your password and then basically you can log in up here into my website okay and what does this mean this means that you can um, you can basically come to my tutorials PHP tutorials here and so on and here there we go and you can write a comment in here obviously I'm not logged in at the moment but you can write a comment on my my website um, why have I done this well there's going to be a um, a forum coming soon and you're going to have to be um, logged in to use it also if you subscribe to me on my website and you ask me a question I will answer it uh, if you don't subscribe to me on my website and you ask me a question I may answer it um, but I have a lot of stuff to do so but if you do subscribe to me then I will 100% answer your question guaranteed more than likely the same day more than likely within a couple of hours okay um, test it find out ask me a simple question stupid question or a difficult question and I will answer it um, no matter how long I have to research it I will answer it this website is here for you it's here for no other reason it's not here to make any money from you guys for you guys it's 100% free and it's gonna stay free always and uh, the, my sole aim in life is to give back my information to the public for people who want to learn so come to my website use it to learn ask me questions give me ideas of what tutorials you need you need me to do and I'm gonna do them okay I promise you ask me to do a tutorial and I will do it I may not do it straight away but I will do it okay uh, anyway thanks very much for watching um, my name is David Thorne, um, you can obviously visit me at www.thorne web design, subscribe to, on, subscribe to me on YouTube anyway, okay, you can contact me there, I'll do whatever, okay, um, I'm sorry if the video quality on this is not very good or it flickered, I'm testing out a new um, screen recorder at the moment, um, I don't know whether I'm going to keep using it or I'm going to buy it, but um, I've used the open source ones and I don't like them, um, okay, well, thanks very much for watching and goodbye.